School attorneys arguing they have qualified immunity. They want it all shut down, including subpoenas for school records and interviews with school officials. But one legal expert says more lawsuits are expected. So tonight, 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner looks into what it would take to keep all of these lawsuits out of the courtroom. This motion is expected. It's almost automatic when a governmental unit is sued. So every government agency has this bubble around it, uh, this protection, if you will, this iron bubble. And you have to pierce that bubble. That bubble is the immunity. The $100 million lawsuit was filed last week by attorney Jeffrey Feiger on behalf of two Oxford students and their parents. Riley Franz was shot in the neck and survived during the Oxford mass shooting. Her younger sister Bailey witnessed it. Federal District Judge Mark Goldsmith has already issued an order to preserve evidence. Figer wants to issue subpoenas to get any and all school and personal records, including from Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. Most courts, most of the time, allow limited discovery with a protective order, meaning that that material, the sensitive material, is not going to go outside of that court. 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly is charged with terrorism, four counts of murder, seven counts of attempted murder. His parents are charged with involuntary manslaughter for buying him this handgun and allowing him access to it. The Oxford schools say the civil lawsuit could hamper those criminal cases. Attorney Todd Flood was the original prosecutor in the Flintwater crisis. While the civil suits were pending, it's not an automatic conflict. They're two separate entities, two separate courtrooms. Flood says what is most important to everything is the morning of the shooting. Ethan Crumbly was found with a picture that showed a drawing of a gun, a student shot, a bullet, and the words, the thoughts won't stop, please help me, blood everywhere, my life is useless, the world is dead. The teacher who discovered this took a picture of it before Ethan was sent to the office. The one hero was the teacher taking the photographs, raising the red flags, raising the alarms. Ethan's parents were called to the school and refused to take him home. Ethan was sent back to class, and later surveillance shows he committed the mass shooting. His backpack, locker, were not searched. You don't need to go get a search warrant. You just need a reasonable suspicion. Todd Flood points to several high-profile cases, including Dr. Larry Nassar, who is doing life in prison for sexually assaulting more than 100 girls in USA Gymnastics and at Michigan State University. Those multiple civil lawsuits settle out of court. Flood says that could happen with Oxford. Resolve these cases in a way that can bring healing. Because right now it's so raw, it's so ugly. Judge Goldsmith is expected to hold a hearing here before deciding this motion. In downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.